Well, uh, so I had a conversation in a car uh, just this very evening uh, on my way to the studio uh, with someone who was making the point and very cogently and logically uh, that the United States is not going to go quietly into the good night of having to share power uh, with other powers in the world, uh, that it would rather take the Samson option of bringing the house down on top of itself and all of us rather than share power. And I've no doubt that the political class uh, contains many people uh, who think that way. But I like to think, call me an optimist, uh, I like to think that the permanent power and the, and the power of capital that want to continue making a profit, thanks very much, not have the world destroyed in a nuclear <laughs> holocaust, uh, when, of course, no one would be able to sell anything to anybody, uh, that the, ultimately, when it becomes unstoppable, uh, the multipolar world will be uh, come to terms with uh, by the United States and its satrapies like the UK and other European countries. I like to think that. I like to hope that. Because the alternative is as you implied it. Uh, the alternative is that one day we wake up and we didn't wake up and nobody woke up uh, because the world was incinerated overnight in a thermonuclear exchange of weapons bringing about an end to all life on the planet. That cannot be ruled out. Undoubtedly, it cannot be ruled out. Uh, but I like to think that it's unlikely.